I had to lift some 55 gallon drums full of coal and some pretty good sized steel plates a few weeks ago and I, I guess I'm getting too old uh, to wrestle that stuff around by hand so I needed some way to, uh, to handle them. So I went out on the internet and looked around and I, and I found that somebody had done this neat little trick of just taking a pair of vice grips and removing the adjusting screw and replacing it with an eye bolt. And then using the clamping pressure of the vice grips to uh, make a gripper. The vertical lifting clamps that you can find out on the internet and out in the heavy construction world are just like a big C clamp and they're just designed so that the harder you pull the harder they clamp. This is a little different in that you've got to you know pre-tighten all this up but the idea of having this ring here for lifting purposes is just a great thing. So in order to hook up to this thing I just put a couple of screws through the eye hook bolts so that I could hook up a chain on there. Okay. And I did the same thing on this other pair. So what I wanted to talk about for a minute here is choosing the right kind of vice grips. Um, I, my suggestion, I live in the USA, is to use uh, original vice grips that are made in the USA and that are inch threads rather than metric threads. And that's important because when I found out about this business of using the eye hook instead of the bolt to adjust the adjusting bolt, uh, they said just go to the hardware store and get the eye bolt. Well, guess what? In America, you don't find any eye bolts, or at least I didn't in a hardware store, that were metric. They, for what they have, they are uh, inch, inch thread sizes. So you have to be careful of that. And of course, different sizes of vice grip players have different sizes of bolts for the adjusting screw anyway. This particular one here is 5 16 18, for instance. And they have bigger ones. However, I have this old pair of original vice grips, which are bigger, as you can tell. And I really wanted to use that just because they're bigger and stronger. But guess what? They didn't have. Uh, a uh, 7 16 14 eye bolt. The closest they had was a half inch. So what I did was to buy a one half inch and then turn it down and thread it uh, 7 16 14 so I could use, uh, use that particular uh, eye bolt that they had. And just one other thing here, uh, I would prefer using the, uh, sh the jaw shape that is kind of sort of C-shaped rather than even the straight jaws like this one has. Although these worked okay, but I would think that if you use the one with the, with the C-shaped jaws like this, then you can get more pressure right on the work that you want to uh, pick up. Okay, here I just want to demonstrate quickly how I utilize the vice grips with the eye bolts to lift something like this very full charcoal. All I do is just set the clamp set the clamp so it clamps firmly onto the drum, one of them, and the same thing on the other side, just make whatever adjustments are needed to get the clamp to shut tightly. In, in this case of the drum, I'm going to either side, I want it to tight, clamp nice and tight, put this baby on here, like that and then lift and I've got some old tractors and stuff that I can lift with 
You might ask, well, why don't you just put this on a front end loader bucket? But that means you're horsing this thing around. If you're strong enough to do that, more power to you. But this way you can pick it up and take it wherever it's going and put it back down right in the right spot without having to pick it up at all. And the same kind of a process works for steel plates. I don't happen to have any right here right now, but I just, I use two of these clamps like this just to spread the load. I think you want to think about safety. Certainly don't get under anything like this when you're lifting it like this. But this certainly worked out well for me.